The 49ers just lost to the Atlanta Falcons 28 to 14. Here are the grades for the 49ers who are now three and three. Jimmy Garoppolo, D. He made a few nice throws, but his job is to not make big mistakes and he threw two interceptions, which means he failed. He also fumbled once, but the play didn't count. The past two games, Garoppolo threw no picks and people began to wonder if he had improved. He didn't. The previous opponents simply dropped potential interceptions and the Falcons did not. Garoppolo is the same quarterback he always has been. When he throws more than the offense runs, his career win-loss record with the 49ers is just 9-14. and Today, he threw 41 passes and the offense ran just 16 times. The 49ers can't win that way because Garoppolo is too mistake prone. Once the 49ers abandoned their run game, you knew the interceptions would follow and they did. Running backs. D. Jeff Wilson Jr. had a terrible game because the 49ers overused him the past four weeks when he carried the ball a whopping 65 times. Today, he had no gas left in the tank as he carried the ball seven times for just 25 yards and no touchdowns. He also fumbled and the Falcons recovered the ball and returned it for a touchdown. Then late in the fourth quarter on third and one from the Falcons 18 yard line, the 49ers called a run for Tevin Coleman and he lost a yard. He's not a short yardage back. We learned this last week. Terrible play call. The 49ers should have given that carry to Jordan Mason who is a short yardage back. He got zero touches today. The 49ers might have won if they had used him, but they didn't. So they made themselves one dimensional. That's Kyle Shanahan's fault. More on him in a minute. Wide receivers, B minus. Brandon Ayuk had a great game, eight catches for 83 yards and two touchdowns. He also should have had a third touchdown catch on a deep throw down the middle, but Garoppolo underthrew it. Debo Samuel also had a good game, seven catches for 79 yards, but Ray Ray McLeod dropped a deep pass that would have given the 49ers lifeless offense a spark. That was a key mistake. Tight ends, B minus. George Kittle had eight catches for 83 yards and no touchdowns. A great game for him at this point in his career. Unfortunately for the 49ers, his backup, Charlie Warner, dropped a long pass up the seam. The 49ers should have called that play for Ross Dwelly instead because he doesn't drop balls. Offensive line, B minus. They gave Jimmy Garoppolo plenty of time to throw all game, but they couldn't create rushing lanes for Jeff Wilson Jr. or Tevin Coleman. Mike McGlinchey was horrible and left the game with an injury. Defensive line, B minus. They gave up only 4.2 yards per carry, which is decent considering they were missing three starters, but they recorded just two sacks, mostly because they didn't have Nick Bosa, who commands double teams and makes every other pass rusher's job much easier. Linebackers, B minus. Fred Warner had a team high 10 tackles, but got beaten coverage a few times and missed multiple opportunities to make tackles in the backfield. He did not make a big impact. Defensive backs, B minus. They give up just 120 passing yards, but they also give up a passer rating of 144.6 to Marcus Mariota, who's nothing special. Traverius Ward left the game with a groin injury, and without him and Emmanuel Mosley, the pass defense was extremely conservative. Special teams. B. Ray Ray McLeod had a 35-yard punt return, which was the 49ers' longest gain of the day. Coaches. F-. minus. D'Amico Ryan's did an okay job considering he was missing seven starters on defense and he was facing an offense that averages more than 24 points per game. To play mostly backups and still hold the Falcons at just 21 points in Atlanta is impressive. Remember, the Falcons scored a touchdown with their defense. Still, the Niners couldn't stop Marcus Mariota from scrambling or running the zone read. They were unprepared for him. Also, without Bosa, the defense got very little pressure and Ryan's didn't blitz much. He should have. Instead, he let Mariota carve him up. But Ryan's was by far the 49ers' best coach in this game. Kyle Shanahan got outcoached by Arthur Smith, whose team is rebuilding. Shanahan's offense also stunk as it scored just 14 points against a bad defense. In addition, the offense scored a whopping zero points after halftime. Bad second half offense is becoming a pattern for Shanahan. Today, his offense had no imagination. The run game had zero creativity and he gave up on it immediately. That was checkmate. But the main reason the 49ers lost is their plethora of injuries and those are Shanahan's fault too. Every game this year, the 49ers have lost multiple key starters to injury. This happens every season to the 49ers in September and October because their training camps are so light and their starters don't play in the preseason. So they're not in football shape when the regular season starts. Instead, they attempt to get into football shape during the season, which has led to lots and lots of injuries. This is Shanahan's sixth year as a head coach. He should have fixed the injury issues and the offense by now, but he hasn't. And now his team is three and three, and it hasn't faced any good teams yet. Next week, they'll have to face the Kansas City Chiefs while missing roughly half of their starters. Good luck with that. 
At least the 49ers still can win their division, but that doesn't mean they're good. For comparison, the Jets have a better record than the 49ers right now. The freaking Jets, whose coach is Robert Sala, the former 49ers defensive coordinator. Is he a better head coach than Shanahan? I wonder.